Hi Aries, it's Lulu I Love with House of Oshun. It's still February. It's the 31st, but it's February. Ooh, child. Mm -mm -mm. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Aries. Okay. It's not going to apply to everybody. This is between you and your lover. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. I really appreciate it. Still going with this insomnia, so we're going to see what happens after the insomnia. What I'll do is do an overview. Let's do the overview. And then I will go over your feelings and your lover's feelings. Any information that you need is in the description box. <clears throat> and just what information do you have for my sexy Aries? <laughs> What information do you have for my sexy Aries regarding their relationship? It's an overview. Thank you. All right. All right. Um, there may have been here in the recent past, um, there may have been some things that have um, transpired that has you looking at relationships different here. You may be in the space of observing things and being very observant, being very, um, you're not standoffish. You're just waiting for the right time to um, approach this person, approach someone. And remember, this can go vice versa. So there is some observing going on, <clears throat> going over the minute details of um, the relationship, going over what it is that you truly want moving forward. Um, it feels as though there will be some clarity and a, a shift in focus between you and your lover it feels like there needs like um you may have put something out there someone may have put something out there and awaiting some type of response from putting things out or just waiting to uh, for the right time to reach out i feel as though there will be a stronger bond uh, moving forward there will be a coming together of source to share feelings share hopes dreams wishes um what are what are you what what are what do you want in a relationship here so if you've been in a relationship for a while it may be taking a turn um went from one cycle to another because there's always cycles and rhythms and everything yes hmm. i feel like there's some insight some things that will be revealed some of you are uh, dealing with someone who's very intuitive here Hmm. They may also have air um, real close in their chart, rising or moon air here. They're more of a, whoever this is, they're more of a thinker than a speaker. They may say um, certain things. They don't say a lot. They don't um, put a lot out there. That's what they're doing Y'all should have came over here and just got y'all reading in person. Okay. That's a lot going on. Sleep soon cometh. Rest. I get sleep. I don't get rest. I don't even worry about this show reading. <clears throat> what are Aries feelings towards the lover? Aries feelings towards the lover. Ooh. I told you somebody going to put their best foot forward in this time. All right, Aries. So many of you may be dealing with someone that you feel as a soulmate or there's a strong connection between you and this person. It feels as though you are very um, in you are so in tune with this person when you are around them, when you are with them or what have you. It's um, I like it. Whether they remind you of someone um, from your past, past life or what have you, it just feels as though there's a strong bond between the two of you that may have been there prior to. Um, you meeting them, you just knew that you would meet this person. I really like it, okay? I don't be trying to make love readings all mushy and stuff, but I love me some love. I want to see people happy. Just because I don't want a relationship don't mean other folks don't need to have now. Make some children. 
it feels as though uh, you want to take this relationship to the next level. It feels as though the relationship is, like I said, it's cycling up. Um, you want to engage more with this person, be more engaging with this person. There's some forgiveness and learning from mistakes that needs to transpire. And that's where um, some of that um, sitting back and, and waiting comes in as well. It's possible that you want this person to forgive you because you feel as though you have learned from your mistakes. Some of the things that may have transpired between the two of you, it's like... Just because uh, you got away with it with someone else doesn't mean you can get away with it with this person. You just really want them to forgive you here. Or them, you. But I, these are your feelings towards them, so that's what it, I'm going with. Okay. You want to have the conversation. Have the conversation with me. It feels as though there's um, a need to um, delve deeper into the feelings and put it all on the table. There needs to be some agreements or some arrangements made between the two of you and you're ready to take that step forward. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. It's like you smell them when they're not around or you, their essence. It's something about their essence here. This may be fairly new, these feelings that you are having um, because you are, I feel like the person that you are dealing with may have, may have you looking at life and love from a different perspective. I like it. This was a beautiful day to do this. My cup overflowed. Okay. My cup overflowed. All right. <clears throat> what are Aries lovers' feelings towards them? They're trying to take back control of their life, but they also want you to take back control of how you handle situations. Maybe y'all had a fight or something, and you got out of hand, Aries, and you want them to forgive you for it. And they just like, you know, Aries be, ain't never acted like that. Then get their shit together. That's what they, that's what somebody said about you. There may have been some things said that both of you need forgiveness from one another here. I feel as though this is going to be a mutual um, agreement. There's some understanding uh, transpiring here. Someone, is, between the two of you, you are seeing one another from a different light. Hmm? You got to go through something in a relationship. If you don't go through nothing, it's going to be just boring. There's ups, downs, mediocrity in a relationship, what have you. Feels like y'all learning. This person really like got they really like you. <clears throat> They're trying to um they want to trust you more here. You may have children with this person, or someone is expecting a child or wanting to have children, and there needs to be that discussion as well. Um there may be some um toxic behavior that needs to be addressed and it may have to do with children um, it may be something to the effect of um, uh, someone may be using the children against the other person the other party that's probably one person thank you I don't need you in the comments I don't have any children we ain't got no. <laughs> it's not personal they're trying to remain optimistic about the relationship. They want to move forward. They want to do this right. They have very strong feelings for you. And they want to express those feelings even more so moving forward. But they're kind of afraid. They're kind of scared. Things are kind of shaky. I feel as though they may come in offering gifts or bearing gifts here, Aries. Somebody is. Or expecting a gift. Maybe you expecting a gift. You expect an apology. Sometimes those are good apologies. They come with a gift. Whatever. I'm just saying. Sure. It's right here. I honestly feel as though, um, let me see what this is that happened between you and this person. What is the, uh, what was this spat about with Aries and their lover? Because y'all ain't going nowhere. You don't want to go nowhere. Now one of your company. What is this forgiving and learning <clears throat> between Aries and their lover? Look at this shit. Wanting to start over. Somebody spoke too soon. Somebody just went off at the map. What we got here? Pisces, Taurus, any earth sign. Got Ace of Pentacles. Wanting that new beginning. Wanting to make an offer for a fresh start. Wanting to plant the seed to move forward. Um, it feels as though one person may be um, offering something practical. The other person is offering emotions. So, of course... It's going to be on y'all which way y'all go with this. Because it was some kind of, somebody spoke too soon about something or may have moved too fast without thinking things through. Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries, whoever. May have, um, it may have been something about leaving the house. 
um, or uh, trying to leave a situation too soon or saying that you're going to leave a situation and didn't do what you said you was going to do. I also feel as though um, it may have happened when you were, um, when the two of you were uh, feeling um, overly secure. Don't get, don't ever get too comfortable in a relationship. Okay? Don't get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable in your life. It's always more to learn. Always more to grow. Always more to know. That's why I don't understand why people be cheating. But hey, if you're going to mess around, tell folks that you got somebody else. Then it's not cheating because you put it on the table. Put it out on the table. But there may have been something that happened when um, at a baby shower, some type of uh, gathering or what have you. It may have uh, been something of that nature, but I feel as though... Um, Like I said, one of y'all dealing with someone very intuitive. It's probably you that's intuitive, hey, Aries, whoever it is. <clears throat> some things, um, there's some mystery here. So that's another reason why y'all need to have a conversation. I'm finna go. Now, look, I'm finna go over to the other side. Many of y'all don't need to go over there. Lulu just expressed most of the stuff that you need to know. Had a conversation. Be honest with one another. You like the person and, you, you know, you, you don't know if you can move forward. One of y'all may want children, the other might not. Somebody might have found out someone was pregnant and told their ass, you see. But they're thinking about it. They're getting it together. They, they may come come in and apologize. They wasn't ready. I'm going to go to the other side. And what I'll do over there is go over the obstacles and blocks. Your best approach, which is what it's all about, Aries. Okay? When it comes to these relationship readings, that's what we will be trying to do. Help you, help yourself. Okay? Because we don't know what company got going on. This ain't company reading. We'll go over the obstacles and blocks, your best approach, and lay potential outcome. Darling, if you go with the best approach. I'm gonna go.